it's so good to see you again. I'm so glad that you came back. Of course, we're going to have some fun today doing math together. One of the things I want to start off with today is just a reminder. We'll be working with place value disks today, and I hope you have those available at home. Um, but I want to just remind us that this place value disk stands for the number one, much as the way our little one unit does for base 10 blocks. And then when we see the 10 on it, it stands for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's one. 10. So that's what we're talking about when we're using these little place value disks, okay? Oh, I just set these here as a reminder. Okay, well, I would like for you to begin by building the number 40. And you know how we're always working to um, uh, make our 10 frames? I don't want you to worry about it today because rather than that, I want you to think of kind of like upstairs and downstairs on your place value mat. So I've got 40 here. And let's see, why don't we go ahead and write out the fact that we have, how many tens? Yes, four tens. And now I'm going to add some ones. Let's see how many I add. You can see I'm kind of putting them down below. So I just want to keep my group separate. And one more. How many is that? Yeah. And since we're talking about how many tens we have, let's talk about how many ones we have. Ah, that's right. I heard you say we have five ones. Well, Four tens and five ones, another way to show that is 40. This is the expression, it's the beginning of an equation. When I put an equal sign after it, then it's an equation. But we can also just call this an expression because we don't have um, an equal sign. And hey, while we're at it, why don't we, why don't we do this too? We have a 40 and we have a five. And we want to know what we have all together. And that's the work we're going to do together now. Well, let's just count it up. We've got four tens, which we already know is 40. Let's count on from 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Right? That's pretty easy. Or another way we can just do it is think mentally about this is the ones column and this is the ones column and we can put them together and we can see that that's 45. I think a lot of you can do that mentally. So that's just our starting place. You know that we're not going to rest there. See if I can keep my little number bond thing there. Now I would like for you to build on top the number 34. Just like I'm doing. There we go. And down below, I would like for you to build the number 20. So what does that represent if we were going to write an equation? We would think about what we started off with first. Three tens and one, two, three, four ones, okay? So we have three tens, four, ones and that gives us 34. We're going to add that to what we have down below, which is two more tens. And we know that equals 20. So 34 plus 20, we can think about what we have going on in the tens column. How many tens do we have all together? Yes. We have five tens. And why don't you tell me how many ones we have? Boy, every time I ask you a question, you give me a real good answer. 54. 
34 plus 20 equals 54. Now again, some of you might be able to do that mental math and that's great. But we can see that we can use our tools. And do you remember how I told you the other day, I like to have you thinking about another way. So how many ways am I showing you here? All right, let's build on to that. So we, I, don't, I didn't need to pick those up. Here, we're gonna put them back down. Let's build on to that. We had 34, do, do, do. one, two, three, four. Teachers, sometimes the hardest thing is just the dealing with their little place value disc, right? They wanna roll off the table or be dropped on the floor. This time, I'm going to have you add 20. So we've got some tens, but guess what? Let's work in our ones column too. So instead of just adding 20, we've got 25. Now, you can draw this out as well. You don't have to use the place value disks if you don't want to, but look what we can do again. We can talk about what we have in our tens column all together. So we started off with 34 plus 25. All together we have, what do we have in our tens column all together? Five tens. How many do we have in our ones column? If we put those together, yeah, that's like a tens frame. Only one is missing. We've got nine. So we added five and four to get our nine, 59. So we can also just look at that mentally. See, we had our 34 plus our 25. Okay, let's just do what we did here on our place value chart. We first thought about our tens and recognized that we had five of them. We then thought about our ones and recognized that there were nine for 59. We're not gonna stop there because you've got this now. Let's, let's just build from there. You did such a good job putting numbers together. Where do you think we're going next? Oh, see what I'm talking about? They just wanna roll away. All right, there's four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, and how many ones do you predict I will put out? Let's see if you're correct. You notice I'm just writing, you know, sometimes I'm writing out tens and ones, sometimes I'm just writing, this time I'm actually just gonna write the number that we have. We're gonna start with 76. What kind of problem does that mean we're going to be doing? We'll do a subtraction problem this time. Um, because I put the 76 in the, in the hole, so we're going to figure out the parts. What I want to take away from my tens is five tens, okay? So, remember how we talked a moment ago about let's work in the tens column first. If I have seven tens and I take five tens away, well, let's do it. How many tens do we have left? We have two tens left. Now, I don't need to take any ones away, so I'm gonna leave my ones as they are. So we can see that 76 minus 50 gives us 26. And we're almost finished together, and then you've got your workbook and your textbook. How about, you did such a good job with that one. Let's, let's just go ahead and start with the same hole again. 76. Okay, and this time, I'm gonna leave my 76 here and we'll just think about it with our written strategy. I'd like you to take, this time, I'd like you to take away 52. So we have seven tens, and we are going to take away five tens. I'm gonna show that we have this part here. Seven tens, take away five tens. Can you picture how this will look here? If I take five tens from seven tens? It would leave me with two tens, wouldn't it? But guess what? You know what? Maybe I'll go ahead and take them away because we've got to work in the ones column too. 
I'm going to take those five tens away and let's test it. Whew, there we are with two tens left. Now we have to take two away from the ones column. So I'm going to work with the six and the two. Six minus two, do you know it in your mind? Equals four. What I have left here is 24. And that's what I want to leave you with today. Now you'll go on and work in your textbook with some of these kind of same kinds of problems and you'll work in your workbook. And then I want you to come meet me back here next time.